Hello and welcome to Inside Ally Sports. Today we are in Queens, the biggest of New York City's five boroughs and home to some of the best skateboarding in the East Coast. Back in the day, skaters had to get creative to find a good skate spot, but today they have their choice of state-of-the-art skate parks. Skaters like Zared Bassett, Louis Tolentino, and Rodney Torres are a big part of this evolution, and today we're joining them on a tour to check out all the new skate parks that have been popping up in New York City. I'm Pat Parnell, and today we're taking you inside skate. What's up, everybody? My name is Rodney Torres, and we're at the Globe in Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens, New York. It's a world-famous skate spot. I grew up skateboarding here. It's been a lot of fun over the years. Unfortunately, as you can see, the water's on. So we're gonna hit up a bunch of local parks that have been popping up all over Queens, starting with the Maloof Money Cup Skate Park here in Flushing. Our crew today consists of Zared Bassett. Zared is an OG in New York already. He's been here for quite a while and moved in from uh, Cape Cod. He is a serious powerhouse. He's a super productive, super serious personality and skater. And um, we have Louis Tontino, who's a powerhouse as well, but he's a bit more comical. He's got a lot of charisma. And uh, Leo Heinert, who uh, is an up and coming kid. He's like Speedy Gonzalez on a skateboard. It's pretty awesome to see him skate and uh, should be a fun sesh. Check it out. Aloof Money Cup was already an existing contest in Southern California and they wanted to do something in New York. Around the same time I was trying to fight to save this place, I contributed to the uh, design of the place, just a couple of things here and there with California skate parks and we all just came together as uh, local hires and made, made this place happen. grateful to the Maloof Money Cup for putting down the money to do this, the City Parks Department for allowing it to happen here, California Skate Parks for the labor, and uh, Open Road for connecting me to all these people. You know, it, it was the opportunity of a lifetime for me, you know, and I'm grateful to everyone. All right, what's up? We just rolled into the Astoria Skate Park under the FK Bridge in Astoria, Queens, New York. The park is a pretty big plaza with uh, lots to offer. If you like skating ledges, I'd recommend coming here. But there's also a nice hump in the middle of the park and a long quarter pipe for some transitional options. Let's check it out. This is probably one of my favorite parks. You can just go in a circle, there's long quarter pipes, then there's like the manis, little hubbas. There's kind of a little bit of everything and you can just flow around. It's right by the water so it's a nice breeze, which is nice on a hot day like today. I, I like skating in skate parks so it's fun. It's pretty, a lot easier than skating street spots. A lot easier on the body. I feel like before you kind of come to a park and there wouldn't really be anybody there because not as many people skated but these little kids are out here every day and it's pretty rad. You see one, I've seen the same kids for the last couple of years and now they're like really good. So it's cool to see that. What's up everybody? We just made it to our third and final location of the day, the Far Rockaway Skate Park. This is a great location. It's right on the beach, right along the water. So after a good skate sesh, you could, you know, jump in the water, cool off. It's got a little bit of everything, hubbas, rails, ledges, manis, a lot of transition. So there's still one man standing strong, the one man army himself, Louis Tolentino. Last man standing. What's up? By myself. We'll see uh, what he can put together while we're here. Let's check it out. Uh, what's fun about this park is all the little kids that jump in your way. You get, they're, little, they're like a little like, you know, you gotta dodge them, you know, so that adds extra fun to you. Back in the days, I used to get in trouble a lot because I would always skate in buildings and plazas, like 
stuff like that. These kids could come over here and skate skate parks. So they could have peace of mind and not worry about getting kicked out or some security guard trying to like shoot the fare with them. Try to clothesline you or something like that. You don't got to worry about nothing like that. I want to just dip my feet in the water if I could do that right now, please. I want to take my shoes off and dip my feet in the water. With the development of all these parks in New York, it's giving kids who either have been skating for years, like myself, or the next genre of kids a place or a platform to kind of develop their skills. So it's only, it was only right for these places to be built. We've needed this for years, you know? So now that all these skate parks came out of the woodwork out of nowhere, I've seen a whole bunch of kids just progressing so fast. It's pretty amazing. Pretty hyped on that. Skateboarding is progressing a lot in New York because of these skate parks. People kind of look at it more of like a loitering, you know, destructive, rebellious kind of culture. And this was able to kind of highlight what I've been doing for over two decades and for what most people have been doing here in New York, you know. So it was able to like shine a big light on what we do and show it as like a very positive, productive, and progressive lifestyle. Safe to say skateboarding has seen an amazing amount of evolution here in New York City, and it's been great to be a part of it here in Queens. Well, that's it for another episode of Inside Alley Sports. I'm Pat Parnell. We'll see you next time.